So we got sheetrock. Insulation is done. Well, 95% done. Uh, start sheetrocking. Uh, well, started now, but hopefully uh, tomorrow I'll be able to get the entire lower level done and some of the other levels so I can get my lights and things in place. It's a good insulation. It's actually a sound barrier as well, so that's good. Had trouble with the uh, with the tankless water heater, you know, after running lines for it and getting it all ready and having the setup in my plumbing set up for it. It didn't work out the way I needed it to, so had to go to Plan B. Start cutting out a whole lot of pipe, reorienting, reorienting it. Sorry, and. Now, setting up to use this 20 gallon electric, electric hot water heater. This, the other one was like a, a 12 kilowatt. I thought I could run it at a lower, uh, a lower amperage to try to get things going. And, you know, I can't. So, this one actually runs at about 2,000 watts or 2 kilowatts. And my system could handle that easily. It's not the instant hot water that I wanted, where you end up with unlimited supplies. But with 20 gallons and replenishing as necessary, I think it should probably be okay. I built a little shelf for it. And it's got some storage underneath for batteries and all that. I'm going to extend it over to this side possibly so I can do inverter mounting on the shelving. Get everything off the floor except the batteries. This room inside, this tech room, basically I'm going to leave unfinished up to this point and then close that in and use it for closet slash storage and, and things like that. Uh, let's see, I put a uh, whole home water filter system in. Uh, it's in the process now. After I did all the cutouts, I'm now putting together the piping that's necessary. The problem is that when I get or engineered this setup, my source line is here coming from outside from the well. Comes up through here. And now I have it going into the filter, back out. So that gives us clean water, but not a feed for the new hot water heater. Because initially it would come here and then up into the tankless hot water heater, you know, or at least a tap from, from here, would come up into the tankless hot water heater, back down as hot, and it would feed this line, which is the hot water system. That's what you see there, the, the half inch line that you see at the bottom. This is a three quarter, this is a half inch. The top is cold, the bottom is hot. So, now that the tank is not living here anymore, and it's actually living way over here, I had to set up something that after I come through the filter, I have to now get it to come, well, obviously the cold side of it, I need a tap from here to come in, into here, 90 degree it, and then into, well, I, the first one's going to come in the bottom, into the cold input down there, and then the hot output that's coming out of the tank has it elbow back in, come back through back down and then join up right here to now provide the hot water for the system so I you know in the process of doing that I'll probably end up doing it all tonight get that taken care of my little project here uh, the shower setup is going to be over there as you can see that's all configured and ready to go There's the toilet there and then vanity sink, cabinetry, all right here in this, this, this section down in here. And uh, let's see, all my uh, outlets are set. 
I'm going to run a, additional lighting in one, one or both of these channels, probably just stagger them one, two, and three, so that they'll work, they'll operate on a different switch, maybe over here, so that imagine if there's a sectional couch here, you can turn off the regular lights and just have access to just like almost ambient lighting on the uh, sitting area. So that if you're watching TV, you know, in this section or what have you, and it's you just want to have the ability to read or do whatever you're doing, you know, you'll be able to do that without turning on, you know, 10,000 lights. Uh, other than that, you know, that's the progress that, that's been going on so far. This place is starting to get to be a mess, and I'm going to have to do some serious cleanup. But... You know, it's progress, and we're moving forward, and uh, I'm real happy with the way things are turning out. Anyway, I love your comments. Uh, let me know what you think. And I uh, look forward to, you know, my next report. You guys have a great day, and take care.